Okay, so we're going to do a drive on 10.4. Um, I did one other drive. Okay, that was pretty good creeping, actually. Pretty good. There was a car coming, but it was definitely far enough back that I had space to do it as long as my car committed to the turn, which it did. Um, I started to say, I drove, I drove on this version on Sunday, I think. I haven't uploaded the video. Frankly, it was, it was pretty bad. Um, maybe I'll upload them both so that you can see the difference here, if there is a difference. Um, but my car had been, or has been, when I've been on this version, painfully slow painfully slow through turns like to the point where it's kind of ridiculous um like going uh, you know three miles per hour when it should be going 10. okay we're gonna play chicken here that was pretty good that was good um and then the other thing that it was doing was it was, all right, now I need to get over. Yeah, it doesn't recognize that it needs to get to the left after it goes around the parked cars there. I mean, if anybody were turning here, I would be in their way right now. Um, the other thing that it was doing was um, it was having a very hard time timing it through yellow lights. Um, like when I would, when it was coming up on a light that was green and then turned yellow, where I would have stopped, um, it didn't. And it went through three orange lights in a row that um, ended up, I was, when I was under the light, they were red. So, like, here's another one. Like, yep. It's not recognizing this construction, or it didn't seem to be. I wasn't going to find out. But yeah, that's what it's been doing. Like the timing has just been uh, a little bit off. You know what? I need to dial down my speed. I need to remember. I have my I have my speed set for seven over um, for the highway, but I don't want that on city streets. Um, that's something that has been sort of bothersome um, with Beta, and honestly, I think that it's something that they should ready to take over because this car yeah it wasn't it wasn't adhering to that guy who was getting over because of the truck as he should but my car should have let him in um and it and it didn't exactly I mean it did I never I didn't really I, did, I don't think I intervened there I didn't I didn't disengage but it gave me the warning because he was crossing into my lane all right, this is where that phantom blinker was. Yes, the last time I came through here, it actually tried to get over, which it hadn't done in a long time. But yeah, um, honestly, so far it's doing a little better today, even though even though it, it blew through that yellow and did not recognize that um, construction. It did a good time good job swinging out wide on that curb even though it was a little jerky slight overreaction to that car I mean yes I should have slowed down for that car but it was a little slow in acceleration once the car was through the street so we're not going to be able to do my normal test route today because they're filming a movie down on Washington Square which is where I usually navigate to next. Um, navigate to the Fastnet pub. I'll navigate to somewhere close to that. Um, but I'm not going to be able to go around the square like I normally do because totally miss Pope. No reason for that either. No reason for that. 
let's see <gasps> yeah not good not good I think one of the improvements was supposed to be better um, you know rerouting of navigation when needed but that wasn't very good still have a blind left here though. Let's see how we do on creeping on Spring Street. We've got a church here. It was going too slow and I inadvertently disengaged with my hand on the wheel there, but there was a, a car coming. Still far enough away that if my car committed to the turn, it was fine. Overreaction to the woman getting out of her car. It's been doing that. I mean, yes, it should slow down and be careful um, when somebody gets out of their car. But, and I'm sure it doesn't know if that person is going to jump out in the middle of the road and cross the street in front of my car. And that's why it's being so cautious. But that's not really how a human would do it. A human would like slow down maybe, but not like stop like my car wanted to do. Yeah, so um, when I went through the other day, it, it was missing turns like that. I think it missed like three in a row. Um, so that is definitely a step back for me missing turns and mistiming through yellow lights. So yeah, they're filming uh, Hocus Pocus 2 on Washington Square and um, they have the whole square converted into Salem, Massachusetts. <laughs> I believe they're filming today actually, or they were rumored to be but it's all blocked off. When I, when I went through the last video that I uploaded and they were constructing the stage in front of the old colony house, uh, that's what it was for, it was for that movie. A little bit slow accelerating off that stop line, but not the worst. I'm telling you guys, when I say that it was slow through turns last time, it was like so painful. I had friends with me in the car and I was like, look at this. Look at what my car is doing. I wasn't on camera then, but there's probably some of that in the video that I'll upload along with this one. My car has been having a very hard time picking the correct way to go here around this construction lately. Let's see how we do. Oh, actually it's taking me another way. Oh yeah, it's all, wow, it is completely that movie set. Oh, they are filming today. There's a lot happening. Wow. Should go check it out. This is a tight little turn. Let's see how we do here. All right, well, that was pretty good. Now we need to make another. Um, this is, this left is a little bit blind. It needs to creep out a little bit more. There's a parked car here. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, that was good. So straight ahead here, you can see um, some of the movie set. Hmm. Where do I want to go? Let's go over here. I don't know why I did that. That was weird, holding in the mirrors there. This is a little bit of a mess. There's a lot of pedestrians. The guy in front of me isn't going because of somebody waiting to cross. Well, 
lots of pedestrians in this crosswalk over here. I don't know what you can see on camera. My car should be creeping up a little bit more. I'm just, you know, this is kind of a situation where I need to be a little more aggressive. Oh, look at this, Salem Police. Oh, that was pretty good. I'm pushing it here because I don't think my car knows what to do. There's like too much. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Lots of people around um, watching the filming, I think. Again, an overreaction to that pedestrian um, stopping way too far back. Um, you can still be cautious and not stop four or five car lengths back. Okay, so now I should go. Okay, good. He was waiting for that pedestrian, but I had two cars that could have been jerks and gone, uh, but they waited for me. Navigate to 12 Third Street. All right, we're going to try that diagonal traffic up here. or not but it did not feel like it so I did not want to find out so we're gonna try that little quick right another quick right to uh, see how we do entering the Point neighborhood stopping a little too far back from that line because of the pedestrian let's do a right on right here come on let's do it see it says it's checking for visibility it doesn't have to do that it can just go and then it goes like I didn't push it there but once it decided to go it was appropriate speed it was just a little too slow while it was peaking okay let's see how we do here and that was great this is where I navigated to that was pretty good um, so some mistakes uh, definitely a little bit of regression um, but it was honestly better than the first drive that I did so it's kind of how it is with the beta inconsistent one drive is good, the next drive's bad. But we'll try it again. Um, I actually won't be able to test for a while because I'm going out of town for work uh, for the next five days. So when I get back, see you guys next time.